Di Maria. Hello and welcome to one of the most recognizable games in world football. The Estadio Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. Mbappe. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner uh, is that will do it for this game Johnson. anyway. And, and it goes into the history books as a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their performance? Well Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And that's it. And options in the centre. And the starting player is for Final Madrid. Move. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Tony and there it is. Three goals in the of the pitch. And, and the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. <laughs> Here's the Alaves starting lineup. Well, it's a flat 4 5 1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. to believe this is going to be something special at the Bernabeu and they get the ball rolling Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick Karim Benzema who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long Stuart what do you anticipate seeing from him here well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to score another goal today because he's got four in the last three games. He's a player full of confidence, and every time he makes a forward run, he looks as though he's going to get in behind. He's in outstanding form at the moment. Played in there. And dealt with that ball comfortably. Casemiro. And there it is! The opening goal! The ideal way to start! Well, look at this again. No real power, but great understanding of the situation. That's an excellent goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Ruben Duarte, Rioja, Escalante, useful looking position you've got to say, and a goal to level this contest, all even. Well here it is again, the build-up is so patient, they're just waiting to play that killer pass at the right time. And then the shot is emphatic, he strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So, a level contest, 1-1. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Escalante. It might be on for them. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. 
Can they take advantage of the situation? And return to Modric. Still passing it around with authority. Modric. Chance to play it in. Benzema. Here's Modric. It might be the moment to get them ahead. He cuts it back. Well, a wasted opportunity. It would have been a decent chance, but offside the decision. of this attack let's see what he does next a chance to whip it in pulls it back real chance and a goalkeeper in great form and he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there that is brilliant Trying to deliver it accurately. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front! Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Kick off again. 2-1 the current state of affairs. Well, inching towards half-time, Real Madrid hold the advantage. Stuart, what strikes you about their performance so far? Well, it's been a lively first half, hasn't it? Both sides have looked dangerous, but I think they do have a bit more guile in the top third of the pitch, and that's been key to them leading at the moment. Eder Militao. Now Casemiro. Benzema. Benzema. Look at Modric. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Ozelu. There it was. Moving the ball effectively. And stuffing out the danger. Modric. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. And crossed in there. The cross played over. And work to do defensively. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Well, he has plenty of battle scars and he knows how to lead a line, Karim Benzema. It's going pretty well for him. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space and his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half. Every reason to believe this is going to be something... The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Lejeune, Escalante, Pere Ponce, looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. 
not to be this time. Modric. A very timely interception. Jose Lu. Edgar Mendes. Now Jose Lu. Extremely sloppy in possession. Modric. This is Kors. Rodrigo. Well, can they prize them open now? Vinicius Junior. It's a cross towards the near post. A deft clearance. Modric. On and on he goes. Real chance. It's gone in. Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here's the goal again, and you have to say the patience of the passer is outstanding. They're just waiting for the right time to penetrate, and then it's a pretty tidy finish too. Hits it hard, he hits it low, and it just makes it difficult for the keeper. A really nice goal. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Rioja. And he's won the ball. Mendy. Eder Militao. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Well, possibilities in the centre. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, only minutes remaining now, and Real Madrid enjoying a commanding lead. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp, the movement's been bright, and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Escalante. Here it falls. And the decision is one of offside here. And so into the final five minutes. Pere Pons. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Mendy. Throw-ins given. Edgar Mendes. Options in the centre. Escalante. Can he put it in? 
And that is that, the end of the game. It goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. And the shining light for his side, Karim Benzema. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.